Hello and welcome everybody back with another demo review, Mobby Star Riders. We're not going to leave Auto Director on because it's trash. Alex gets the Insta Trade frag. Yeah, we're straight into it. No messing about. I am Cologne. Let's go, bitches. Right, what have we got here? Uh, pretty standard 2 2 spread ATM from Mobby Star Riders. Just going to invent. Oh, that was a dirty flash. Real good. Nice one, boys. 3-1 split from Na'Vi. I think they're going to just leave SDY out on this island. Probably keep the B stack. If Movistar Riders go A, they'll probably just save what they have on B and force my next round. SDY gets a little bit of info. They're still going to commit to this B stack, Na'Vi. And Movistar are falling back into an A hit. Oh, although because they're sending Mopos back towards B, it's mostly, yeah, this is going to be a wrap. Walking into the three-man stack, it's going to rely on some clean entry work here. Mopos will probably take the first duel at Coffins, I would have thought. Especially once Movistar makes some noise towards Graveyard. Oh, very, very nice tap from Mopos. And in they go. Another nice tap from Mopos. And, yep, Davy G dies the back. Another nice tap from Mopoz. Really, really nice pistol around there from Mopoz. Yeah, Mobby Star Riders walk into the stack, but they're splitting the B-bomb site, so there's a decent chance they're going to be okay anyway. They managed to avoid STY, so they got themselves a 4v3 on the B site. So, yeah, not too bad. Not too bad from Mobby Star. All right, we'll turn all two directs back on for a sec. Let's see if it does anything useful. I don't think so, but, you know... I wish I could spectate this man, you know? That's what, that's what I want. I want to be able to spectate this fucking the observer. See what the observer's looking at. Because the auto director is just randomly spinning through, right? It's not actually doing anything useful. Um, we'll probably keep an eye on simple this round. Because uh, it... Oh no, they're kind of going towards B early, so... Na'Vi kind of just making it look like they're going to contest... Turn X-Ray on just because I like watching demos with X-Ray. Um, it helps when you're watching somebody to see what the other team are doing. So I don't have to constantly look at the minimap. Um, I think Simple is probably going to take some contact at some point. Because uh, Movistar are going to poke their heads out top mid. They're going to take that map control or at least try on a round like this. Minute left. Na'Vi I have a couple of smokes left. So there's still something to be said for this round. Ooh, simple peeks into that flashbang. Nice work, buddy. Right, that's it. I'm putting my fingers on the numbers. Simple might be able to find that's it. Ah, uh, nice shot onto Davy G. He's going to take this fight at least. Falling back. It looks like Movistar are probably going to commit onto this A site here. Simple. Ball in a decent spot, to be fair. This is not a bad spot for Na'Vi. This round is, is winnable with the crossfire they have set up on this short side. Requires SDY to get something done, probably. Oh, he gets a dink. Oh, okay. Dead. And they get the frags needed. Oh, yeah, that was a little bit shaky. Movistar were also uh, executing very late onto the site there. That one got a little bit shakier than it probably needed to. And obviously, Electronic is left in a 1v2. Probably can't do much here. He's also got a terrible gun. I'm probably sticking with a 5.7, to be honest. And Mopoz peaks and it kills him. 2-0 up for Movistar Riders. Got a little bit nervy, I think, in that round. Um, they walked into a pretty decent crossfire. SDY got a dink, probably needed to get a kill. And then Simple... Was a little bit wild with that Deagle spam. So this one should just be a freebie for Movistar Riders. We'll just speed through this one. I doubt that, that much uh, interesting is going to happen in this round. Yeah, they're walking literally... Yeah, they're walking literally away from the site that Movistar are about to uh, take control of. So yeah, this one's just going to be over fairly quickly, I reckon. If I'm Na'Vi, I probably just chill out, save our smoke and flash. Yeah, Electronic dies trying to kind of walk through the fade of that smoke. And this one should be over. Uh, looks like we might get a bit of hunting here. 
Navi probably going for exits, trying to take guns away. So I, I see it. I see it. The, they haven't got much to save, so they're just like, ah, fuck it, rather than save the few dollars. Um, we're going to go for the exit frags instead. Yeah, and then Alex rips off it. SDY's head. So this is the first gun round of the game. Navi have to take a hit on the FAMAS, and Simple has no grenades. We'll start the round off looking at my boy Simple. Best player in the world. Why not keep an eye on him? Uh, actually, we'll have a look at the, the kind of map control that Movistar are going to take. So they've got somebody pushing apps pretty early with this uh, MAC-10. It's a bit of a bonus round for Davy G. And they're also obviously creeping top banana. Mopoz is going to try and do something on the fade of that smoke. I think, yeah, on the molly going. Oh, very nearly catches bit. Not bad from Mopoz. Not bad at all. Taking a lot of map control early here, Movistar Riders. They're getting... Very, very high levels of uh, map control early on in these rounds. This seems to be a bit of a common factor so far. They're kind of being given the map control. Navi are playing very... Navi do this sometimes on Inferno. They play very, very, very passive setups and crossfires. I, I can't lie. I'm not a big fan of playing this way on Inferno. I think you need to contest brackets uh, and contest top banana a little bit more often than Navi are doing right now. Maybe we'll see them do it later in the half, but... I think this is a very, very passive setup. It's it's pretty much solely based on making reads. So Electronic drops that smoke banana. Are they going to respect it? Not with that gap. Electronics fluff that smoke. Yep. Mopoz is going to creep on that for sure. Yep. And this is going to be a B hit. Great trade from Davy G. Beto's going to die through the smoke, yep, yeah. and this is probably a save, honestly, from Na'Vi. They're all coming from the same spot. If Electronic gets an early frag, they probably go for it, otherwise this one is just going to be a save call. They're going to go for a flash and at least have a look. Alex is going to have to get something done here. Wait, when did the, the other guy go down? I thought this was a 3v3. I totally missed the other guy going down. Alex here. Yep, yeah, this is a decent retake. I didn't see the uh, the other guy go down. Oh, I don't get it in my thing. I thought that was a 3v3. I didn't see the, um, the third player go down. That's a good retake from Na'Vi. Nice and decisive. Decent utility usage. Made sure they could crossfire. Alex played a little bit passive uh, at the back of the site there. But I think he was probably waiting for someone to get on the bomb. I would have liked him to swing when Davy G was taking contact, though, personally. Um, other than that, but it, it was still probably a Navi favoured round, right? I see what Alex was doing in some sense. He was trying to kind of keep um, them guessing as to exactly where he was. Uh, so it looks like Navi might contest the forward map control a little bit more here. They've obviously got bit further down in... Ooh, he's taking a shit. Yeah, that sucks, man. He took so much damage from that molly. Um, Mopoz heard that, and then he was so bloody low. But again, look at the map control that Movistar are getting. They're getting apps for free. It's not that uncommon to not contest apps as the CT forwards. Like, you to use that as more of like a... I don't want to say gimmick play, but you know what I mean? To mix up your defense later on in the half or at certain points in the half. But they're really not contesting this brackets. Oh no, Simple is contesting the brackets to control this round. And he does really well. Deaths with a good trade, however. 3v3. The T's have a lot of room to work with here. They're going to walk into this two-man B stack, however. And this is a pretty good setup. Mm, Perfecto going towards... He's worried about the arch wrap, but now that, um... Oh, yeah, no trade. Cool. Yep. Okay, um... I don't know, it's hard. They maybe needed to double swing that CT. Um, I think that was a little bit of a mistake on Movistar Rider's part. I... I think they kind of just creeped into that CT angle one by one and made it pretty easy for Na'Vi to hold that one. Um, in a 3v3, you probably favour the T's most of the time because there's more space. The CT's have to worry about more map control um, and more just gaps. Oh, Mopoz taking advantage of this. And he's going to get both down. 
bit an electronic cleaner up. Sorry about this, guys. I'm just going to have to do my best at observing. I am not an observer. And Sun Pius is left in a pretty unfavorable scenario. 5 HP and a Tekkers. My man is, uh, you know, hiding. Oh, electronic. Bops him. So, 3-3. Three, three. Navi have pulled it right back. They have a little bit of a bank now. This is a very key round. Movistar probably need to win this. They have a decent loss bonus built up, but they're still going to have to take some sort of partial next round if they lose this one. Navi would probably get out to a 5-3 lead and have a very big bank. So this is a pretty vital round, I think, for Movistar to win. At the very, very least, they want to do a lot of damage and get a bomb plant. If they do a lot of damage and get a bomb plant, they can challenge in the next and threaten that Navi economy, make sure they can't build up an economic lead. Yeah, it looks like they are going to go pretty passive again. They do have pretty deep banana control, however. He's kind of solo here. Just didn't, uh, didn't think about... Uh, Wood stack at all. I'm not sure why Bit was not kind of aware that Mopoz could be in the wood stack there. Potentially, he thought their utility would keep somebody out. So now they're playing a little bit more aggressive hit. Oh, thick. I picked the wrong person on the boost. I thought Simple was on top, but it wasn't. It was electronic. Down to two or 3v3. Movistar are pretty low. This is probably very doable for. Navi, SDY needs to clear out this top control. Yep, excellent. Now it's uh, all on the two heading towards Banana. See, uh, do you see what I mean though? Navi contesting uh, brackets control a little bit more aggressively, even though the contesting of the Banana control... Mm, another gapped smoke. Navi have thrown a couple of these dodgy smokes so far this half. They need to tighten that up if uh, Simple's going to get the frag here. Yeah, because... Uh, just not even vaguely aware of it is some bias and four to three. As you can see now, the Navi bank is jai effing enormous. Movistar are going to have to take a partial. Navi in the driver's seat now. Navi in the driver's seat for sure. Damage here, a bomb plant is all that you're really asking for. If you are Mobby Star. Otherwise, you know, GG, go next. And by that, I mean GG, go next round, not GG, go next. Ooh, bit always get caught out. Run, 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 run. Good job of Perfecto to chill out there. Davy G blinds his whole fucking team. But they do have some space here to work with. But Simple and Bit are going to clean this bad boy up. Yep. So not bad on Star Riders to get the space. Very nearly caught out either Bit or Perfecto. Perfecto did really well there to stop in CT and just take the fight to ensure that Bit um, could get back to the site safely. Basically, he didn't leave Bit out to dry. He made sure that there was um, some sort of support for bit there as he retreated back to the site. It's a good play from Navi to stop the aggressive play. Sometimes that's what you've got to do on these rushes. You don't run away like all the way back into the site. So you don't try and dump your full utility belt. Sometimes you've got to just stand up with your gun out and take the fights, particularly when they're on pistols, not a lot of armor. Sometimes you've got to just stand there with your gun out and take the fights. So Bit kind of on his lonesome here. We'll probably have a bit of utility support from Electronic and Perfecto. Yeah, Perfecto's got a grenade and is probably going to be ready with a flashbang. Yep, there you go. So Bit is not on his lonesome here. He does have some support. But it, there is still a lot of pressure on Bit to frag in this position. But we've got a pretty heavy alien from Movistar Riders. So it doesn't look like they're going to head towards uh, B this round. Yeah, fairly early A hit. So Movistar trying to mix up the timing. They've had a couple of very late rounds. They're going to go for a, a faster one here. Oh, good trade though. Good trade, good trade, good trade. So now they're going to take this control. They've split the bomb sites. This is a very favorable round for Movistar Riders. Um, putting together a pretty nice T side so far. Honestly, this is looking pretty good. They've split the bomb sites into the rotates can't really come through. Although Death's has kind of abandoned that position. No, okay, he's having a look at the rotate through middle first. And he's gonna throw some 
support utility and then probably should head back. Simple in the pit. Oh, Simple did really well on the multi-frag there. And he dies, but he has given his team a chance on the round. Bit is already all the way out. Perfecto died, yeah, cool. Uh, Perfecto killed Death, sorry. And really nice retake from Na'Vi. I think Death should have probably committed to holding the rotations. I don't think he should have grouped up with his team there. I think that was a mistake. As you can see, Bit and Perfecto got so far out library and close to the site before Movistar were ready to fight them that, yeah. Kind of wasted the space in the control they took, to be honest. He also could have wrapped the bomb site and joined in the attack from long, from the kind of arch side. So I think that's a bit of a potentially individual mistake from Death's there. I don't know if people said, hey, come back, Death's and Flash. Maybe it's uh, the caller's fault. Um, I don't actually know who IGL's for Movistar. Is it Alex? I should know this, but I actually don't. Let me just have a quick look. Yeah, it is Alex. Yeah, okay. I thought it was, but I wasn't certain. I'm uh, just, just double checking that. Hang on. Yes, it's Alex. We're good. Um, so I think in general, uh, yeah, I, I think in general, uh, Movistar are putting together pretty nice two rounds. This is actually quite a competitive game. Navi are not playing too bad on their CT sides. I think they play a bit passive sometimes, uh, and I wish Navi would sometimes contest a little bit more, like brackets and stuff. Although they're doing it a bit more um, this round. Why? Yeah, there we go. Uh... Oh, okay. See, this is something Na'Vi do, I think, on their Inferno. They really try and inf play their CT side Inferno based on reads, um, particularly with Electronic as the caller. Yeah, I don't think you can play Inferno like this, to be honest, CT side. I mean, Na'Vi are so good, they're going to make it work, but... Or they're going to make it work a lot of the times, but... They've made the wrong call here, although it looks like, yeah, they might do the rotate. Oh, Mopoz gets the entry, and now we've got Perfecto on his lonesome. Yeah, this is scuffed. A lot of this read heavy stuff is very reliant on your players getting frags. Oh, okay, that's almost... Uh, just burn his little tootsies a little bit there. But when Symbol's alive, anything is possible. 3v2, two are very low. This is doable. No utility for Navi on the retake, but they do have a kit. So there is definitely a round to be made of this one. Oh, this is going to be a good flash for SDY, I think. Yeah, that was amazing from Simple. Really, really nice from Simple to A, get the kill and do that. Amazing. Yeah, that retake is all on Simple, man. What excellent play. That flashbang was baller. Allowed SCY to get a free kill, basically. Read the setup like a book. And that is what Simple is so fucking good at, man. I say this time and time again, but he... It's like he plays with wall hacks sometimes, man. His game sense is unreal. That's all on Simple, that retake. All on Simple. Starting to look a little dire for Movistar Riders. At least the loss bonus is stacked up. So if they keep getting bomb sites, they're going to keep getting pretty decent buys. But the Navi bank is ginormous. Movistar are going to have to chew through a lot of buys before they get to like a free round. So this T side is looking pretty tough for Movistar now. They're going to have to chew through so many full buys. Although Mopo's getting a free kill at the top of Banana. Yeah, I wouldn't be... I would be being playing more um, aggro at A because this B... Ban top Banana aggression bit has been wrecked every time he's tried to contest Banana aggressively. But uh, Na'Vi don't really seem to want to play mid that far forward in general. They've kind of played pretty far back on mid. Is there a stack here? Where's... Why, why can't I see Simple? Or is Simple in pit? No, Simple's there. What the fuck? Oh, it was Electronic who was in pit. Okay. Uh, Davy G wrecks SDY while he's busy chucking nades around. We don't see that as often as I almost would expect we should see it in pro play, but that's simple playing. Ah, uh, he's playing here for the potential rap. But yeah, this is just donezo. Yeah, and now uh, simple and perfecto are just going to have to save. So we will speed through this one. 
CT timeout. I wonder if they're discussing this this B stuff and and also their lack of reads. They haven't really read the offense right like once. I think one time on the pistol, Navi got the correct read. Um, trying to play a very read heavy CT side, it looks like. And you know, people do do this on Inferno, um, but I think they're trying to do it without information. They're not they're not getting huge amounts of info. It feels like. Bit not gonna play in banana, but. I'm not going to contest the half wall, it doesn't look like. So, it feels like they're learning. Ah, uh, yeah, there you go. See, simple playing more aggro mid. This is what I wanted sooner in the half. And SDY playing actually in boiler. See, th this was... I feel like this might be the adjustment they made, which is why I said, oh my god, he just gets caught in no man land there, SDY. SDY on A on Inferno is the worst SDY looks, uh, basically, anywhere on this, um, on this Na'Vi roster. He does not look comfortable on this A site. I don't know if he was a B player for Spirit. I can't remember. But he does not look comfy. Uh, in the end, Electronic holds it down. And the double kill from Simple also... Uh, yeah. The double kill from Simple sealed the round. But SCY just got caught in no man's land. It feels like he's not comfortable with timings on A. He doesn't feel comfortable on the angles. This feels like SDY's worst half for Na'Vi is his CT Inferno. He, he does not seem comfortable on that A site. Or at least what he's being asked to do on that A site. He doesn't look comfortable at all. Simple having a fucking banger game. Uh, doing simple things. Basically multi-frags every single time he's asked to. It's just simple, isn't it? So yeah, Navi can buy out the rest of the half, basically, at this point. Oh no, they've, they've had a little dent on their economy made. But they've still got, like, so many buys ready. Mopoz. Oh, Mopoz. I was literally about to switch to Mopoz. Um... I wonder if he tried to beat the timing on the smoke or what, but Bit finally actually punishes him at the top of a banana. So all looking really fucking good for Na'Vi at this point in the game. Um, I think they haven't... I think this is fine margins, actually. It's 8-4, to four, so it looks like a pretty solid half for Na'Vi, but I think it's pretty fine margins that Mobby Star are not getting more rounds. Um, they've put themselves in decent positions in a couple of rounds that they've lost. Um, they've generally played a pretty decent offense, I would say, so far. Um, but Simple is a large portion of this. Simple has won at least three rounds largely down to him with either multi-frags or that insane retake on B. Oh, that's going to hurt Alex a little bit. That's going to hurt him. Oh, it didn't hurt him a little bit more. He did well to avoid that nade damage. So, Movistar just slow it down, try and look for a Na'Vi um, getting aggro. But, ooh, Sunpires with a great shot there. They won't take the space, though. I like the, the pump in the brakes because Na'Vi are probably going to call a rotation and Movistar read it really fucking well. Um, he's going to go through that smoke, maybe? It's a bit weird to throw that smoke himself and then go through it, but... So this is where it's all going to happen. We'll go to simple because simple multi-frags. They happen. They're real. Des catches the... See, that's what Des needed to do that other round. He catches electronic on the rotate. He was too... Um... Okay, he's going to die for free. SDY in the pit doesn't get anything done. See, SDY, man, he doesn't look comfortable as a pit anchor. SDY is the A anchor. He looks really uncomfy. The more I see him play, the more I'm like, yeah, this guy fucking struggles in that A anchor position. Oh, some players actually dies to the bomb, so miscalculation on Movistar's part. And that actually does matter a little bit. I mean, I guess they can drop, so some players can get an or mobs can get dropped an AK, they will get a full buyout. It just drains their coffers again, and they can't really take a loss on the chin. Yeah, with the loss bonus the way it is, they can't really take a loss on the chin. It's actually rough if they lose this, because it basically means a 10-5 half. So that, some players dying was actually kind of important there. They could have had a much better buy on the final round, should they lose this one. Electronic going to go aggro here. Yeah, it looks like they're like, fuck this noise. Electronics like, nah, I'm doing this myself, but you keep fucking it up. <laughs> okay, so they get the aggro. Mopoz is going to come through. Yeah, so that's a pretty standard. Whoa, 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 whoa. Navi, what are we doing here? Five man A stack? Relax, brothers. Okay, Perfecto's going to be the B anchor, as he always is. Bit's going to rotate back. Electronics going to head back to A towards the middle of the map. This is where Electronic plays now. But the B hit is coming. Yep, Mobby Star, I don't think rate that B hold very much. Electronic on the rotate. Bit stuck in the smoke. Perfecto stuck on the site. Bit gets spammed down. Electronic does pick up Mopoz, so I think tried to go through that smoke. A lot of room here for Perfecto to play with. 
Oh my god, Sunpire somehow finds him in the smoke. They knew where he was and they just found him out. Oh, electronic. Oh, he gets the bomb plant. Uh, oh, that was probably the key frag there. SDY coming close. It's doable though. Simple on the orb. Oh, Alex absolutely F1 race car peaks him. Davy G finishes it off. Nice round from Movistar there to go on the B hit. Very, very assertive. I like the way Movistar have mixed up their timings, having some late rounds, having some rounds where they go for the site earlier. I think Na'Vi have struggled in general to read this offense. Um, and yeah, Movistar, full credit. The rounds Na'Vi have looked better in general are the rounds, I feel like, where they've gone a bit more aggressive at the start of the rounds, um, particularly towards that A site, and looked for the opening frag. Um, I think at the start of the half, they were probably playing a slightly too passive defense and we're getting away with it a little bit. Movie Star chucked a couple of rounds. They probably should have won. Ooh. What have we got here? SDY playing nice and aggro. Bit better here. Simple playing reasonably aggro too. Banana control basically already taken. Simple got fucking pooped on there. Was that a grenade? I think that must have been a grenade. Jesus. He's the only uh, upgraded like proper rifle, so... Yeah, Bit, man. Bit has had a bit of a stinker on this B site, man. He has not had a good game on B. Bit and SDY, I think, have been the... Um... Oh, Perfecto finds the frag, though. The trade will probably come from Alex, if it comes from anyone. Oh, my God. Perfecto doing a fucking Mazza holding this bomb site here. Yeah, Perfecto doing a Mazza. Yeah, this was a Perfecto round right here. Davy G does pick up a rotator, though, and he's going to take the space. Oh, that's very unfortunate. Sunpires did pick Perfecto, however, but Simple is probably just going to mop Sunpires up here. Yeah, it doesn't expect another player to be on the side. Oh, Simple. Simple, don't do it to him, brother. Damn. Simple. Yeah. Simple was a huge reason that Na'Vi got so much done in that half. Really nice uh, B anchoring from Perfecto in that last round, though. Really, really nice to take a lot of Movistar's time up and find two frags. He was just an absolute nuisance there. Bit and SDY had the stinkers in that half. Um, you can tell from the fact they got the most deaths. Um, Bit was having a fucking mare, man. He was entried so often on that B site. Just couldn't get the rhythm of the game at all. Mopoz was getting the better of him more often than not. Just did had no read on the rhythm there of, uh, of that game. What happened here? Right. Uh, see, Movistar playing a more aggressive already. Yep. The Navi were not expecting such an aggressive crossfire at the top of mid, and they have been picked to pieces. 2v1, though. They have managed to trade out into a 2v1, and if Simple with a P250 and armor is in a 2v1, it is not over. Mopoz probably just going to come sit Arch. He's going to play with his teammate for sure. They're going to play together. No need to get yourself split up and get one tapped into 1v1s by simple. Such a hard round for simple because they managed to get the order. Yeah. Mopoz with a good shot. Mopoz is playing well this game as well, I feel like. I feel like he got a lot of entries on that B site. Feels like he's doing a lot of work. Have a quick look at the ADR. Simple godlike. Electronic Perfecto and then bit of SDY. Not, not getting enough done on the ADR front. Sunpious, not having one of his best games, but he is an orper. And he was orping on T-Side Inferno. Orping T-Side Inferno sucks. If you don't know, it sucks. It's horrible. Hate it. Right, simple with a deagle. We'll probably skip through the majority of this round. This one's not going to be very interesting, I don't think. Nope. Oh, simple does pick up a fucking absolutely random deagle headshot through the smoke. Pure skill. Best player in the world. Speed through. If he can kill some pies here. Yeah, some pies on a fucking dirty off angle. That off angle is horrific. That's <laughs> such a nasty angle. Simple was almost aimed in such a way that he could have done something on that off angle as well. Yeah, some pirates just going to mop up a lot of this. SDY gets shit all done. Yeah. Obviously, pure pistol. Nothing to sweat about there for Na'Vi. This is the round that you need to get summon done. Otherwise, Mobby Star are going to start to build up a bank and it is going to turn into a bit of a slog of a... Oh my god, double nade on electronic. That's not good. Bit very aggro. 
Oh my god, Navi, what the fuck was that B take, bro? You should know the timings on the nades there. Like, how have they died to two nades? Simple, obviously doing simple things and just fucking putting the game on his back. Like, well, fuck you guys. If you're going to throw the round, I will unthrow it. Oh, Sompias and Alex fighting aggressively. Nice you. And SUI just gets cleaned up. I pressed five there, but didn't want to. My observing has been nothing short of excellent. I've missed frags, but I think I've done pretty well in general, considering I'm not an observer. And I have no numpad. If I had a numpad, look, 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 got a small little baby keyboard, no numpad. If I had a numpad, it would make life easier. So, you know, I deserve praise. Speed, we'll probably just speed through most of this one. We'll sit on simple for a bit. Uh, yep, Movistar are fucking uh, battling for this banana control. They are aggro. Movistar have the, I think, best or second best opening kill percentage on CT so far this tournament. And, uh, yeah, it shows. They play a pretty aggro CT side. Like, it, it's only 50 seconds and Navi are just taking the top of Banana. I know it's on an eco, but it just shows you the way uh, that Movistar like to play their CT side. Don't. Okay, I was going to say... Yeah, and you're going to get spammed through this fucking... Yeah, wow, that was a bit of a shitty b hold there. <laughs> good, good entries from Na'Vi, make no mistake. That was good work. But, um... Yeah, I guess didn't want to leave Alex out to dry, but probably should just take the two frags and then try and stay alive, uh, Mopozda. Hindsight's twenty twenty though. It's so easy to, like, criticise decisions when you're watching like we are with X-Ray and stuff. But well, that's what we're trying to do when we analyze like this. We're trying to say what is the perfect way to play this shit. Good retake, though. Yeah, good, good retake. Um, I don't know if Navi want to try and get more aggressive there in the retake. Maybe at least take the banana control. But I guess banana got smoked off, so... Good retake from Movistar there, to be fair. I think I think we just uh, hold our hands up and give Movistar props for that retake. It was, uh, it was nice. Oh, Mopoz with the solo behold. Yeah, baby. Oh, look at it. Yes. Yes, this is the CT sides I want to see, baby. None of this Na'Vi fucking sit in a bomb site and pray you can crossfire. SUI can't move forward here, otherwise some pirates will rip him to shreds. Ah, fuck. We might get a meeting here as well. Okay, okay, okay. SDY leaves. Giving a lot of info with his footsteps, however. Yeah, which is why you now see Death starting to kind of lean towards a bit closer to that B site. Davage picks up SDY. Okay. Yeah, this is a hard setup, I think, to break. Death has a good chance of getting shit done here. And he's just going to smoke it off. Na'Vi only have one place to go. They don't have any apps control. They're probably going to fall back into a late B here, I reckon. So looks to me like fall back into a late B hit. Nope. It's going to be just everyone mid. Everyone mid. Suka. Everyone together. Fuck it. We trade. Some pious trying to get a cheeky bit of info. Maybe catch a timing here. Electronics holding him. Oh, ho, ho, some pious wins it. Fucking legend. Davy G in the mini pit just has to be a nuisance. Yeah, there you go. And then the trades come through. And yeah, not much. Unless they get a very yeah, unless they got a very clean kill on um on the mini pit player. It was never doable. Sunpires just has to chill out. Oh, why are his teammates not? Oh, good play from Sunpires. Felt like uh, Mopoz was kinda of leaving him out to dry there. Or was it Alex in library? I think it was Alex actually. Yeah, Na'Vi pausing because they are not getting shit all done on this T side. They are struggling. Honestly, it just feels like they don't really know how to deal with this relatively aggro defense from Movistar. Feels like Movistar are always finding that opening kill and making it... I feel like Inferno is so, so hard if you lose the first kill as T's. In perfect, I flubbed that molly a little bit. I think it was meant to go deeper. SDY lurking apps. This is just a setup. 
And now we're going to try and take brackets. This is pretty standard. Take banana, take brackets as T. Try and do it. Um, and then you, once you've got that map control and you force the CTs back into the site. Problem is, Na'Vi, I think, was giving up too much and not making Movistar work for it. Whereas Movistar, I feel like I'm making Na'Vi work a little bit harder. This is probably the fastest. Na'Vi have got decent map control, however. So this is probably their best chance at a round on T side so far. Although it's still 50 seconds before they even get top banana. Uh, they're going to go back to A. Mm. Yeah, they haven't really... I'd like to see them try a B split at some point with the arch control, because it feels like they definitely have had chances. It feels like arch is probably the weakest part of Mobistar's setup every time. Oh, look at this. Yeah, look how aggressive they are. Look how aggressive they're being. Is Perfecto going to hear this? Oh, they Mopo's definitely heard Perfecto there. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, Na'Vi. Na'Vi are just not getting any read on this offense or defense. They do not know what's happening. I hate Sunpius being stuck like that. Feels like Sunpius um, getting himself stuck in the site like that is not going to work if he keeps doing it. And Na'Vi leave it too late. Yeah, this is again, this is what a byproduct of Na'Vi getting map control so late is they can't really execute comfortably um, until very late in the round. Movi start playing well on both halves, though, for sure, man. This is, like, uh, the best I've seen Movi start look in a long time. I obviously know the result of this game. I watched the last map, maybe, of this one, but I didn't watch Inferno. I might have... Maybe I watched the second map. It, was it Mirage? I don't know. I think I... Or am I getting a different Movistar Mirage game confused with it? I don't know. I feel like I watched a map of this series. Didn't watch the whole thing, though. No. Yep, faster and more aggro. But Perfecto is going to die. They didn't even really get that much nade damage. And now... A shift in the defense, going back to the pretty standard 3-2, three, 3 on 8, 2 on B. Just not getting anything going here, are they, Na'Vi? Feels like they're running into a wall everywhere they go. I don't think they're getting good individual performances out of anyone but Simple, really. Electronic and Perfecto are playing okay, but Bit and SCY are, are uh, yeah, struggling. SDY with this apps lurk. Having a look in Boiler, not getting any info. If he peeks out, some players will kill it. Oh no, some players are going back to B. Okay, so again, Movistar are getting the read. What is SDY going to do though? SDY needs to have some impact if Na'Vi are going to go B here. SDY's got to get something done. Or are they just going to go for B? Yeah, it looks like it's just going to group up and go for B. Keep it simple. I don't hate it. I don't hate it in a 4v5. Just put your numbers somewhere. Who's the front man? Simple dies. Wow. Okay. Yeah, Simple just gets orped. Great rotation from some players. Good call there. They're moving this orp around a lot, Movistar, now. Uh, well, they've started moving it around, which is good. Oh, wow. Good. Ooh. Yeah, nah. They're just not getting enough frags. It's, it's, it's... They need to find a way of getting an entry, man. Even just getting it into a 4v4... Like, early-ish in the round. I'm taking a pause if I'm Na'Vi. Nope. I would take a pause. It feels like they are uh, well up against the wall here. All one-way traffic. They're just, they're just taking the nade damage here, Na'Vi. Yep, they're just going to go for it. Okay, I like this as a switch-up. They need to do something. They need to get something done. Okay. They've at least found some space. Maybe put... Oh, good job, Perfecto. Okay, so they've at least put themselves in something. If Perfecto can get the bomb down, he does have another smoke. Okay, good use. Oh, behind you, Simple. Oh, it's unlucky. Well, that's what I mean. Movistar are so fucking fast with their flank timings, man. It feels like Na'Vi maybe need to be a bit more aware of this. Because these flanks are coming in speedy as fuck. Perfect over two kills on the round. Can he get anything more done? Movistar should just wait for the bombs to go down. They don't need to do anything. 
Perfecto needs to do everything here. This is a good potential crossfire that they have. They just need to hang out. No overfacing, no overpeaking. Yep. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, the, the, exactly what Movistar needed to do. Wow. This is, um, yeah, here's the timeout. I think the timeout needed to come last round. It was their last one, so I guess that's why they held it. I don't know. I, I would never hold the timeout till 14, though, man. 14 is rough because you can't make any mistakes. Yeah, I would do some late banana retakes. I don't. I think they're uh, like kind of what they're doing now is better. They were just getting absolutely mashed by the utility on B. They've heard the orb, so that's going to make them a little bit nervous. Bit more of a passive spread, I think, at the start for Navi here. What's going on in middle? Okay, they're taking the brackets control. We haven't really seen any like complicated splits from Navi. It's been pretty simplistic. They haven't tried a simple B wrap through Arch. A simple, a single. It's because I was spectating simple. I got confused. First time they have made a decent read. They're also not really trying to go, like, mess with the timings on Movistar. It feels like Movistar know it's either going to be a rush, like we got in the last round, or it's going to be a very fucking late round hit. Na'Vi feeling too easy to read on, um, definitely on this T side. And Movistar seems to have a good read, yeah. This has been a fucking combination of a great couple of halves from Movistar and a bit of a woeful, particularly T side from Na'Vi. They look too simple. Just out of ideas. More pods needs a one and done here, preferably. Oh, they don't. Yeah, they're not going to clear it. It just feels like the attention to detail has been a bit lacking from Navi as well. They have um, not thought about flanks. Can can you blame them for that one? I mean, you know that that that. that that's how you can play on that boost spot. You know you can play far back and crouch so that it's hard to see you. And it didn't feel like they committed much spam to it. I mean, just great game from Movistar. I, I don't think Na'Vi will pick up a round here on this half, it looks like. Oh, okay, Mopoz, what the fuck? Oh, this is aggro. Oh my god, and he gets the kill. And he gets two kills, wow. Okay, yeah, Na Na'Vi have been squished on this map, man. They have looked thoroughly outclassed here. I am not feeling confident. Oh, simple though. Not feeling confident about Navi's Inferno. Simple has basically won them all the rounds that they've got. Uh, I guess there was a good round or two from Perfecto and Electronic. Particularly Perfecto on the B site towards the end of that first half. Quick, quick ADR check. Yeah, this is a bit of a problem. Bit an SUI have looked fucking lost. Wait, who's... Yeah, Mopoz is absolutely falling out of his mind with the uh, ADR. But just a great team game overall. Interesting setup. Yeah, with the AWP. Actually, I, I like this setup a lot. This is a look that Na'Vi haven't seen. Um, They're relying on them not having any smoke grenades. Okay, so this is where the setup becomes a bit of a problem because they did have a smoke. Oh, Mopoz gets traded. Okay. Mm, do you go for it as Movi Star, or do you just shrug your shoulders and say fuck it, we'll take one on the chin? Because their bank isn't as big as you'd hope. Good jiggle from SDY, really, really, really nice. Oh, SDY with a sick headshot. Okay, this might be a round. Yes, SDY finally has a round, baby. What a fucking baller. They still don't know where Electronic is, so SDY can just bait for days. Bit of a slow reaction there. Oh my god. No time. Oh, there was time! Wow, how did they not win that round, Marvi? That felt like a guaranteed. Okay, so, um, how are we feeling about that one? Navi CT side was okay. I personally don't like the fact that they 
I wish Navi were a little bit more aggressive a little bit more often. I think they too often fall back into very passive defaults quite early in the uh, defaults, fairly passive holds quite early in the round and just try and play solely based off reads. And they're pretty blind reads, it feels like. It feels like the best they can get is a little bit of information from utility and footsteps. And then they're trying to make hard reads based off of that. I don't think it was going right more than it was going wrong if that makes sense. I think more often than not, they were getting the reads wrong. I think Simple bailed them out of a lot of CT rounds with multi-frags. I think Perfecto bailed them out with some nice anchoring on the B site. Uh, SCY looks so uncomfortable on Inferno CT side. He looks like he doesn't know what he's doing on A, doesn't look very comfy, really struggles as that pit anchor. And I think that's a very key position on CT side Inferno. And he's replacing the previous anchor, obviously, was electronic. And he is one of the best CT side Inferno A anchors in the world maybe the best he's incredible in that position so real hit to the ct side it feels like for for navi with the changes and then bit was also he doesn't always but he was having a bit of a stinker on the b site um i think bit is switched to be a b player right because i thought it was boomage and perfecto that played b beforehand um, before the changes so i think navi's ct side needs work on inferno for sure it, it feels not a great half and then obviously they were fucking poo poo on that t half movistar riders showed i think what aggression can do for you on the ct side of inferno and they were just far more aggressive a lot more combative i think for the map control early in rounds more willing to play setups that were further forward and not just fall back onto the bomb sites and it also felt like they made use of that CT AWP, which they didn't really bother with Navi. Navi didn't really try the CT AWP very much. And it feels that this tournament, it feels to me like Simple's been rifling a lot at this tournament. Um, what was good from Movistar Riders, for sure, was definitely, like I say, their aggressive CT sides. And they moved the AWP around a lot, which was nice. Some really nice setups, um, even ones that didn't work, like we saw... Uh, in that last round, that setup with the rifle close tucked to the wall and the AWP further back, that was a really nice setup. I think they were banking on Navi not having a smoke, and they did, but, you know, that happens. And then on the T side, they just looked like they had more punch in those opening duels. It looked like they were more comfortable with the timings and stuff. Bit was getting caught constantly on timings on the B site. Um, SDY was not having a lot of fun anchoring A. And also, I liked uh, the spacing and such from Movistar. I think it was pretty good. The trades were very, very nice. Yeah, Movistar just looked excellent on this map, honestly. And Na'Vi looked like their Inferno needs a lot of work. Uh, seeing this Inferno performance from Na'Vi really makes me wonder about their Inferno moving forward in Cologne. I hope you enjoyed that demo review, guys. You know the drill. Give it a like. Turn them notifications on. Make sure you click on the notifications, turn them on, because you want to know when this beautiful face is ready to be on your screens. If you didn't like it, you're probably a Navi fan. And let's be fair, that Inferno was not great. It wasn't. Peace out, and I'll see you next time, boys, girls, and otherwise.